Lee, get the bat phone. Hey everyone, we're here today to look at a Batman 66 pinball machine. And this is the premium model. And in this video, what we're going to try to do is convert this pinball machine to an SLE as close as possible. So basically what we're going to do is put some mods in it and some um, of the toys that the SLE mod has that the premium doesn't. So where we're going to start with that basically is we're just going to point out a couple of things of what this machine has already in it and what we're going to add to it to kind of make it that way. So as of now it has the, um, the Meso mods. These are the toppers like to the uh, Batmobile, the beacons that are on the center of the Batmobile. So that's on the slingshots over here. Um, also in this game, which is on the SLE model as well is this helicopter that's on this ramp over here on the uh, left hand side of the play field so this helicopter here will kind of show a close up of that as well um, that comes as uh, as a toy I believe on that game and over here a blue ramp will be installed that I have that's going to match the SLE as well that comes on that game On this side of the playfield, there's a lighted Batmobile that's blinking. And that mod, I'm not sure where that mod is from, but that is um, a lighted mod. And then on the SLE as well, I believe there's a, a Bat boat that's on the back of that. And I think that is going to be added onto this machine as well. And in this back bumper over here, on this pop bumper, all the way in the back here, there's a Bat cycle. And basically, that is, I think, on the SLE as well. But some of the other toys that are, aren't on that game that are on this machine is there's, I believe there's a beacon in the back. I don't think that comes with the game. I'm not sure. That blinks over here in the back right hand corner. The, um, the mod couple makes this tower over here, the bat, like the bat cave type of uh, tower here. Pretty awesome mod. Really cool. It makes some great mods. I'm going to put a lot of their mods on this game. Uh, I'm going to go through all the mods that I have for the game. Well, many of them are included are uh, the mod couples. So look them up on Pinside. They have their own website. I'll post it on the, uh, the video as well and on the blog. And the game blades are also, I believe, on the SLE that are on this game already. So a lot of things already on this game kind of came with the SLE. But, um, but again, we're, we're going to try to add more stuff to it to make it more of that game. And also, too, if we scroll up a bit here, if you look at the speaker panel, they have regular speakers in this game as well. So we're going to put in, again, the mod couple has a lighted uh, mod that actually lights the ring of the speaker. So basically, it'll look more like the SLE. And I have the speakers that are actually in that pinball machine as well that I'm going to put in this game to make it look more real. And the bat symbols that are from the mod couple that go on those grills. So that's going to be on this game as well. So, you know, the Translate is the premium. That, I don't know what I could do if I could find an SLE Translate. It's probably be nearly impossible. But maybe we, you could find one of those. Put that on this game to make it more of that game. But um, also the, the side rails and the lockdown bar is going to get speckled as well and match the game more uh, with the bat wing sides and all that so we'll go through that too once those come and on this game I just installed cliffies so I'll go through the cliffies install real quick just kind of show what needs to be taken off for the cliffies uh, to be installed uh, they weren't that hard but they weren't the easiest ones I've ever done either there's a, some screws you got to take off this game that are kind of a kind of a pain to get off but they came off so the cliffy protectors in this game I'll kind of go in depth more of it, of where they are, but there's one on this hole. There's one on the, um, you know, the shooting lane. And also one in the back. There's a hole all the way in the back corner here by the Batmobile. There's one that goes back there too. And there's also one that goes in the bottom over here that, so when the ball comes down to the center drain, it doesn't, um, you know, start chipping the play field on the bottom. I think that's it. I think that's the only places that... The protectors go so we'll go through that quickly as well just to kind of show everybody where they go and how they kind of went on 
and we'll go through the mods that are going to go on it and we're going to show more of the mods that are uh, that go on the game after they're put on the game and just show how it improves the game as well so you know shout out to all the people who make the mods especially the mod couple uh dot quest uh chrome candy candy chrome or something they make uh, the bat symbol and the uh, the gadget uh, symbol for the uh, lockdown bar. So I'll get their name as well. It's something like that. So that's really it. And so let's go take a look at the mods. And then again, then we'll start putting on the mods and we'll go through a install of the mods and also the protectors from Cliffy. Okay, so here we are with our first mod, if you want to call it a mod, is the Cliffy Protectors for the game. So there's like five or six protectors here. And if we go down the line here, this is the scoop hole protector right here. The first one to where my finger is pointing. This one here is a shooter lane protector, which is a bit longer, elongated than any other protector I've seen Cliffy produce. This one right here is one of the scoops as well. Is that. This one here is for your uh, shooter lane again, where the ball kicks out. This, I think, goes on the bottom of your play field right here, that one. So when the ball comes down and goes down the middle, it doesn't wear out the wood. And this is at the very top right-hand side, I think, like where the Batmobile um, image is on the play field. That's where that protector goes. So basically, um, these protectors are going to get put in. I'm going to kind of go through the process briefly of how to put them in or show the aftermath of what I did to put them in. Maybe I just won't go step by step, but I'll go through the aftermath at the end and kind of show you how I did it. So let's go and do that and see how easy or hard it is to put in these protectors. Okay, so here are the mods for the game that we're going to be putting on. Some of them or most of them or whatever. Um, we just went through the mods, you know, the Cliffy mods, the protectors. Uh, showed you how the, you know, those, what those look like and next we're going to go put them on the machine or show how to put them on the machine. So, but I want to show the other mods too that are going to go on the game. So about the first one here, it's the Stern, um, vo the, the headphone jack. So I was waiting for Pinnovators to come out with something. I don't think they ever are. I don't know why they're not or whatever. They don't feel like making something for the Spike 2. So you kind of have to go with the Stern uh, faceplate and speaker headphone kit, I guess. And then this little magnet here is from Doc Quest, who's on Pinside, and I, he might be—I think he's also sold through uh, sold his stuff through Mod, uh, the Mod Couple, their website as well. But this like slips right over that, you know, the front of that Stern plate here to kind of hide that. It's not the prettiest thing, the Stern plate, but this. You know, it's a magnet that goes on the front of that, that covers that up. So you kind of have to peel, I believe, this sticker off under that, and then this just kind of goes over that, or leave it on and just put it over that, or whatever you want to do. But it looks really cool. It says bat phones. It's got like the bat phones, and you know, he drilled out the hole here to make it fit over, you know, perfectly onto the plate. Looks really good. Next mod is by the Mod Couple. This is the penguin, um, like the umbrella. This goes over the crane, the top of the crane by the light. So you see the light shine actually through the umbrella. It's pretty cool. These are like bat rocks or something that go on the spinner, you know, that spin around. Um, I think also too, yeah. On this side too, there's the other, there's an updated uh, plate that the Batmobile goes on. And again, we'll kind of go through, through this in depth too, but it's like clear, I believe it kind of changes the pink to clear and I guess the sticker goes over it or something like that. I kind of have to kind of see what, what how everything kind of works. They got to take the Batmobile off and screw it onto that and all that. So um, these stick onto the sides. This is the bat light that shines the, um, you know, the bat symbol onto your ceiling. These are the speaker lights by um, Mod Couple. They're updated telephone. From um, Mod Couple goes in that center, you know, the, the carousel thing that spins around. 
This is a Mylar cover that goes over the magnet. It's like a manhole cover, again, by Mod Couple. Mod Couple, uh, the plastic stick over the back computer and the, um, there's the back computer and the crime analyzer. And then um, this one over here, these two plates, these are from Chrome Candy. That's the name of the, uh, the company. And these go onto your lockdown bar. And once the lockdown bar comes back from uh, painting, then uh, we could put those on and have those on. They're, they're really cool. They're pretty heavy and they're pretty durable and uh, they're done pretty well too. So, you know, it's, it's kind of cool. They replace what you uh, you currently have on that lockdown bar into something that's, you know, a little more heavier and stuff like that. So he put some double stick tape on the back of this and I don't know if there's any, yeah, double stick tape on the back of this too. And then put it on your thing and then you'll be ready to go. I think that's it with the mods. There might be a couple more things. I'm not sure. Um, right, so here's the blue ramp that goes on the SLE as well. Um, I believe on the LE there's a red ramp. But on the SLE, a blue ramp goes on the left-hand side of the game. So we're going to show how to install this as well when we get to that point. Um, next, what we're going to do is show how to put the cliffies on and kind of where they go. Just quickly, we're not going to kind of go detail, but just kind of show what screws need to come off and uh, what needs to be, you know, removed and where the cliffies actually go. And then after that, we'll do the rest of the mods that we showed here. Uh, in the video. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are back at the game. We're going to show kind of where the cliffies go. I showed it briefly in the beginning, but let's take another look in more in depth. One goes in here. I believe that's the penguin hole. So what has to happen is this post over here has to be removed. So there's a screw underneath that has to be taken out to like a nut that has to be taken out to lift up that post. This ramp on here has to come out as well. So there's a nut uh, here where my finger is. There's a screw that goes here. And it might be it. And then this kind of just all pops. Oh, there's two screws here too over the, uh, the the crane here. There's one here, and then there's one on the other side. I think, I think there's two like on that side somewhere. Yeah, there's one here, and there's one here. Here, and here. So there's two. So those two have to come off too. So that whole ramp comes off. You go underneath, you find the nuts that take off this. You gotta loosen that nut under here. To like loosen the ramp or the or I should say like kind of like this metal like diverter thing you know like the like the post kind of thing but it's you know flat piece of metal so that loosens up that lifts and then that metal protector slides in the lip kind of clips onto the front and that's it and then that's how you get that one in um let's look at the next there's one a protector back there now too if you see it there's two actually there's one that goes in the hole and there's one that goes outside the hole so the one that goes outside the hole is there's two screws here. There's one behind that bat lamp. There's a screw or a nut, and there's one that holds this like, you know, gate on here, right here. That has to come off. That plastic pops off. There's two screws that hold a scoop in there that have to lift off. So that top one goes on top of that scoop, and then screws in that way. And then underneath, there's um, one that goes in the hole that you have to take off, like the um, the actual solenoid. You take the solenoid off, you kind of pop that square, you know, type of uh, protector in the hole, and the, the empty space points more towards, if you look at that hole, it kind of goes out to the right over there. You'll see like a little like arm that comes out. Well, the, the there's like three sides and then there's no side. Well, the no side faces that arm. So the, um, the actual solenoid could pop open and you know have a clear shot into that hole without rubbing so that's where that goes so when you look at that uh, that protector with the open area of it where there's no wall built up it goes towards the right hand side over there towards that arm that kind of sticks out if you could see it back there 
So that's that. So let's look at the um, shooter lane and the protectors over there. Here's a shooter lane. And in the video, in the beginning, you saw how long this protector was. It goes on the right-hand side of the uh, the shooter lane. Well, that there's two screws underneath this metal, like, you know, wall here that holds that down. You have to unscrew those two first two screws, lift it up a little bit, get it under there, and the holes of where this is go into the holes of those screws, and then it tightens down. Nice, uh... Nice design. I don't think it's going to move. Some of uh, Cliffy's earlier designs, I know, would shift a bit over there, but uh, this seems like it won't shift. So that that's a good uh, that's a good design. But his designs are great either way. I always put just like some kind of double stick tape or something if it moved, and usually I, I didn't have a problem. So on this side, on on my left side, I've showed this in other videos. There, there's four screws that hold the uh, auto plunger. You got to take those off. Drop the plunger. There's two nuts on this side, you know, that hold these rivets down. So all I do is I take the um, the nuts, take like a, um, I took like a socket wrench or something, laid it on on the uh, the actual like nut or the or the part, you know, that's still in the hole that's screwed, and just hit it with like a mallet lightly to pop these rivets out. They come out. You put the protector over it. This rail's got to pop up too. You got to pop this end up here there's a hole in this protector here it's kind of a pain to get that out it's in there pretty tight be careful when you don't break this plastic or you bend it or you know mess your wood up or anything when you're taking that rail out that hole goes into the rail there you know the protector lay the protector down put your rivets in and you know vice versa of how you took it out so that's that it was that it wasn't that bad but wasn't the easiest to get this rail out. This rail was a bit hard. And there's one more protector, so we're gonna take one look at that. Now this is at the bottom of the play field here. There's a rail, like a protector right in there. I know it's a bit dark, I don't have my flashlight on here. But right in here, there's a, a protector in there. And the way I put that in there is that I dropped the, um, I loosened up, I'll say my uh, my ball got, or the, you know, the, the trough, the ball trough. Put the lip on the bottom, slid the top onto the, you know the play field here so it got a nice tight snug fit and that's it so now when the ball drops down it won't nick the wood that's over there and you know mess up your play field so that's that so that's pretty much the um the what do you call it the um the protectors the cliffies for the uh batman 66 game um they're actually not the easiest to put in but not the hardest i should say i put in some crazy protectors but uh but actually these weren't too bad so protects your game. I got to call up Cliffy and get two more, uh, which I forgot didn't come with the set, but protectors for here for your uh, in lane. So when the ball comes out of your ramps, it doesn't mess up your uh, play field when the ball drops down onto your switches over here. So I got to uh, call him up or email him, tell him to send me a set of those. So good luck. If you have a problem, shoot me an email. So let's get on to the other mods and see how we could further progress here in the Batman 66 SLE from Premium Edition. So here we are, we're going to talk about the speakers and the uh, light kit that's going to be installed into the game. Um, basically these speakers, they're owned by the prior owner of the game and basically he bought like some parts I guess to make an SLE or you know to make it as close as he can. He had the blue ramp, he had these speakers and these are the speakers that go into the SLE. He had the speaker mounts, like the plates of uh, what would go inside the SLE machine. So these speakers are um, Jensen speakers like 180s, they're called dub edition. So basically they got like a funky like metal like plastic grill on the end of them and stuff like that so when they go into game you kind of could see it they look kind of cool um i don't know if you could get these anymore I, I don't know if they sell this brand like this type of style of jensen speakers anymore i heard that they don't i don't know how true that is or not but this would be the model that you would need they're dubs 240 by jensen so basically that's the speaker. I already put the speakers in the game already, so I can't show you the speaker. But the speaker I, I already put in the game, we could kind of look at it when we do a video, because I'm going to show the back panel of the speaker panel, because I already also put the um, 
the lighted speaker mod in the game as well by the mod couple the lighted panel and basically so I, I don't have the parts to show you right here as I'm showing you. I showed the kind of the parts in the beginning with the other mods kind of on the counter for the lighted speaker mods but that's really all I could show you right now but let's go to the game let's look behind the speaker panel and we'll look at the before and after of the speakers uh, with with the mod and with the speakers not installed and with installed so we'll kind of show both variations and how different it looks with uh, the new speakers and the light and mod inside the game. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are behind the speaker panel of the game. And I just wanted to show you how the mod is installed but with the speaker lights. And again, we'll show the front right after this part of the video. So basically for the speakers that were uh, installed, I had to make mounts for the, for the mounts of the speaker brackets that came with the game, the speakers are too small, so they'd be more centered towards the middle of this mount. So there are little brackets that came with the speakers actually, they're like these metal like tab type of things. So I kind of unbent them, made them like straight, kind of screwed them to the four corners of the speaker to give it um, some uh, like room to move back and forth. So I was able to kind of move it, put the, you know, had the nuts on the mount, put the speaker over the mount, put a nut on the end of it so it held the speaker in. So um, it worked out pretty well. The speaker's held in, rewired the, uh, the, the the wire here in the back here of the game to the speakers themselves, resoldered everything back in so everything is uh, working again with, um, with the sound and everything of the game. Um, so basically the wiring comes is all this right here. This is all the wiring for the speaker lights for the for the lit bats and also for the round rings around the speakers. So all the wiring comes from both of the speakers to the harness that's here and then it gets its power over here on the uh, the power board that's on the game. And there's like a little like jumper here, a splitter that kind of splits the, the wiring for the power. So that's really how I did it and um, it took me a little time. Uh, it came with, I didn't use uh, what uh, the um, mod couple sent. Again, I already had these rubber like gasket type of things for the speakers that the prior owner sent. And the uh, mounts are different too that I have. Has a hole in here for the bat light, like the, basically um, the mod also comes with a light that goes behind here for the bat that's on the front of the, um, the speaker panel to light it up. So you got two lights. You got the light that lights up the bat, the light that lights up the, the speaker itself. So it's, that's on both sides. So that's why you kind of have splitters over here to power all four of those lights within these speakers. So that's kind of how it works. So you try to keep it as clean as I can, you know, with uh, the wiring and everything here. And, you know, like that's kind of how everything goes. So, so that's really it. So... Let's go look at the front of the speaker and we'll look at the before and afters of with the, the mod and without the mod and with them lit up and see how they actually look in the game. Okay, so here we are with the speakers turned off and you could see, you know, how they came stock with the game. Um, you know, everything looks pretty, pretty plain, you know, like a normal, you know, speaker panel would look black nothing really too crazy looking about it uh, but let's now look at the uh, speakers installed with the lights and the bats and everything from the mod couple and the speakers that I got from the uh, prior owner and see how they look in the game compared to the stock speaker panel that's in the game so here we are with the uh, mod installed and the speakers installed and you can see the lighting around the rings and the bats that are lit up. Everything looks really cool. Um, you know, again, the uh, the mod couple did a great job with the uh, creation of this. It looks really good. And the way that it's installed, I'm just going to turn on the light so we can kind of see it in the light as well. But, like where these speakers are in here, there's like uh, sticky tabs or like dots that go that kind of stick to the front of your panel so they stay in so they don't fall out but also there's like 
the way I have it, that rubber uh, gasket kind of holds them in as well, but the stickiness gives it a little more adhe adhesion to the front so it doesn't pop out. These have two screws in it to the bats. They screw into the panel with a nut in the back, so that's held on with that. They're on tight. And again, it's got like a little LED strip in the back that lights up these bats. You know, that they look really good. So uh, let's take a close-up look at the speakers and see how they look inside the uh, speaker panels. Okay, so here's more of a close-up view on the speaker panels and the speakers, um, you know, just a, with a little detail of how everything looks. So that's with them turned on. So let's go now and turn everything off. And that's how they look turned off. So again, the detail of the speaker that, uh, that I put in there that's supposedly on the SLE. Um, you know, that's what they look like. They got the silver cone in the middle. Um, we could, let's see if we could zoom in a little bit more here without losing like detail. So that's kind of how it looks, you know, with, with them in the uh, panel and you could see in the, uh, the grid of the panel, the speaker, there's no, like, if you look at star Wars, there's like a, like a cross or something in there, like a block that kind of is in the middle of that. They have nothing in the middle. They're just wide open, those speaker panels. So that's why the speaker could kind of fit. And they kind of sit back a bit because of that middle cone. It kind of pushes on the grill if you put it all the way up. So it's got to kind of be recessed a bit back. So that is kind of way that it, it fits into the uh, to that speaker panel like that. So let's uh, let's zoom out again here. And just take one more look. You know, even with them turned off, they look so much better and just so much different than, uh, you know, the stock panels that you get in the game. So, so that's it. So the, you know, the install was really easy, not really easy, but it, it took a little time for me to figure out how to get these two installs. I don't think I had all the parts to get this to fit. I got them to fit, used, uh, you know, the mod couples mod for the lights and all that and everything worked out really well. So I'm really happy with how they look. So let's move on to a couple other mods to see how the other things are installed in the game. And I guess, you know, we could show some of the mods that we put on the play field. Okay, let's start with the blue ramp of how this was installed. So there's a couple nuts that need to be installed and removed to remove this ramp. There's one nut here, and if we go further up the ramp, there's one here by the helicopter. Then if you go farther down this way, there's a nut back here by your little like flap that's over here where my finger is, down there. And then you gotta take off this plastic too on top. So this whole piece of plastic comes off. And then, you know, to put it back on, you go through the same process of how you removed it, you know, initially. So another mod that I put on here, if we could get back there, it's this little, like, the uh, the spinning mod back there. And there's, like, two rocks that go on the side there. I'm just trying to get in there a little bit better so we could see it. So there's two rocks on the side. There's like a sticker that goes over the plate. And the problem is with mine is that my Batmobile's riveted onto that plate. So there's no way I'm gonna remove that. It's just a pain in the neck. So I left the pink plate uh, like plastic, put the rocks on there, put the you know sticker that's on top, and everything looks good. So it's just too much work if you want to take that rivet off, re you know, redo your Batmobile and all that. It's just too much, too much of a pain. So I just left it that way. Um Another mod is this, uh, what do you call it here? This penguin uh, umbrella. This It's like double stick tape, just sticks right on the top there. Goes on really easy. It took like two minutes to put on. Uh, so that was a really easy mod to, to put on. Um, what else did we do here? Uh, put on the Batmobile with that boat on the back. Um, the boat, I. The, there's a plate that's coming from also me or uh, the what do you call it the mod couple it's like a plastic 
like pl flat plastic that goes over there where you can mount those two. So that's ordered as well. So see how it looks with that on there instead of just kind of mounting it to like there's just brackets that it put, you know, that I put the nut on. So it looks fine, but maybe it'll look a bit cleaner with that plastic uh, mounting ramp that, that would go on top of it. And also, too, if you look at the front of the game, there's the, we showed it in the beginning of the video, the headphone jack here. And again, this is that magnet from uh, Doc Quest from uh, Pinside. And that kind of covers your, your speaker, your headphone jack. And there's a wire, there's a cable that goes from this all the way to the back box that plugs into the uh, soundboard in the back. And that's how um, the headphones work, and it's really easy. It's like one cable, one connector. You run it through your cabinet, and you're good to go. So that's that. Um, and I think that's really it with the mods that are installed on the game for now. Uh, I can't think of anything else that we're going to put on this game. But the next thing that's going to get put on next are the, um, the new rails and the lockdown bar once they come back from the painter. So stay tuned also, for that. Also, here's another mod that's in the game. It's the uh, bat uh, projector, I guess it would be. And this is like magnetic. And it mag it sticks to the back of the back box since it's metal. And it puts the signal like that on your game. So it throws a signal to your ceiling or however, wherever you want it to throw. And it's just lighted up and basically in the back box, there's um, a, you plug it into a power strip that plugs into the power adapter in your back box. And that's how you get power to that when you turn the game on. So it's on all the time, but it's fine. It kind of, I think the LE is, it's somehow wired to the game when you hit different modes, it turns on, but this one stays on all the time. So maybe somebody could figure out how to wire it to different modes to the game, but that's how it is now, it's a static, so that's just another mod that's installed. Here are two more mods from Chrome Candy for the lockdown bar. It's the Batman logo, the emblem here, it's a thick metal, and also the Bat Gadget Selector, which is another like thick metal, which I showed previously. And I just put them down with, um, you could buy it from Pet Boys or something, it's like car, um, like, a, like a sticky back that you put on logos, emblems, and um, like trim, stuff like that on cars. So it's really sticky, it, it holds on really well. It's it's pretty pretty heavy, so it works well. So that's what I stuck that down with. They work they look great and uh, really add to the to the lockdown bar and stuff like that. Okay, so now let's focus on the rails and the legs and the uh, lockdown bar of the game. So as you can see, um, this has the older, you know, standard stern metal, I guess they call that like the metal pounded look. And now we're going to go to the actual Batman 66 LE and SLE black sparkle look. So let's go into detail and look at the different pieces as they are right now. Okay, so this piece is the lockdown bar. So this is the standard piece that comes on a premium. And now we're gonna convert it to the actual black uh, glitter piece that's on an SLE and an LE Batman 66. So that piece goes from this to this. Now here's one of the rails, the right hand side rail on the Batman Premium. So it goes from this to this. Here's the right front leg of the Batman Premium. So it goes from this to this. Here's the left side rail of the Batman Premium. So it goes from this to this. 
Here's the standard shooter knob piece that's in the front of the cabinet on the Batman 66 Premium. So it goes from this to this. Okay, so here is the Batman apron, and this was done by Pinball Refinery, and Steve was the, is the one who uh, operates Pinball Refinery, and he did a great job on the armor, him and his crew on the armor, and also this uh, apron, which was supposed to be for another machine, and something got screwed up, so they actually produced it for this machine, but it looks really great. It, it's also done in the black glittery effect. And the two inserts over here to the left and right where the Batman and Robin head usually are. Um, he made like a mirror type of Batman logo, which looks really good as well. And here, I bought a sticker set for the Batman 66 game and cut it right here in this line. And the Batman and Robin logos or their, their heads are supposed to be right there. So I cut those off. But I wanted to fill this area in, this dead area. So I didn't want it to be all black, so I just put the decal here. And they're easy to peel on and off. They're, they're like a thick vinyl. So I put the uh, card here, the rule card, and also drilled two little holes in here to uh, screw the, uh, the playing card back in there. So everything worked. And then over here on the shooter rod area, the shooter area, there's a decal that goes over that area as well. So that was replaced or, or put on, I should say. So it looks really good. And then when you go into the bat phone the major villain uh, mode basically when it lights up the whole apron lights up and it turns yellow so these two inserts turn yellow and then there's also a yellow led in the trough area that lights up as well so that's that's a great effect for this apron so uh yeah steve did a great job with it it looks really great and again like when the when the phone rings the lights actually blink on the apron so it looks really good great effect so and again, Steve did all the armor for the whole machine. So him and his crew did a great job. So thanks to Steve and his crew for, uh, for doing such a great job. So that's the end of the video. I know it's a bit winded, but um, it was a fairly long video. But I just wanted to show everything that was added to this game to make it more like an SLE, even an LE. Um, you know, the cabinet art was added to it, the Batwing armor, the powder coating was done again, thanks to Pinball Refinery for that. Thanks again to Cliffy's for making the protectors, always does a great job. And also thanks to uh, the mod couple that made some great mods for this game. Speakers, uh, the telephone, the, the blinking phone that changes the stock one, the umbrella from Penguin's uh, crane over there, the, um, you know, the Batman the, on, the, on the turntable, the, the hideout, uh, that, that whole mod, which is so much better than the old. It's so much more detailed. It's, it looks great. And a couple other things that he added to the game as well. So, um, again, the game looks great. I think it came out really nice. It's a great game. The code is really great now. It's, it's really getting up there with uh, Lyman's coding. And, you know, it's a, it's a good game. And hopefully uh, it'll be here to enjoy. So, uh, thanks again for watching the videos. Really appreciate it. And again, you can watch all my stuff on www.pinballsupernova.com. That's my website. And all the links to my blog, posts, my videos on YouTube, my Facebook channel, my Twitter account could all be accessed from there. And again, I appreciate all the support and all the subscribers to the videos, stuff like that. I'll be doing a video next probably of uh, some more mods and some other games just to kind of um, mishmash of things and maybe just a tour of the game room. Things have changed a bit. Some games have gone. Some games have come. And, you know, again, these games kind of come and go out of the out of the game room of people because they're too expensive and they're too big and we run out of room and we run out of money. So that's kind of how it goes. So, again, thanks for watching the video. And really the only thing that's needed on this game is
the topper. Until tomorrow, same time, same channel.